Toronto could be the, one of the best in the OIA, and maybe the state in that conversation as well. We'll get the start here. I get the start today. You see what he's done this year. I mean, an outstanding record at 5-0, and a perfect mark right there. And in 46 innings of work, 52 strikeouts, only 11 walks, and a sub-1 ERA. And I think Pearl City feeling that if they're going to win a ball game, this is the chance. And Donahue on his way to Arizona next season. For the kid who played St. Louis his freshman year. Now the last three years with Punahou. That one is low and misses. And you know, he hits the ball pretty well. But I don't think he gets a new one too. He got an excellent jump out there. Two one to Donahue. Fastball misses again. Donahue hitting over 400 this season. At 407, he has drawn 14 walks. That's a team high. A 3-1. Donahue 3-2. Yeah, good location that time from Holly Mono on the outside part of the plate. And of course, Damian making it uh, out of the island season and into the state tournament at 18 field. Tyson Donahue fueled a charger. Bolt up, bottom of the first, coming up. This is just the second time in the last eight years that these two teams meet in the state tournament. Just got a piece of it there. State's best among the top five in batting average. One out of Toronto Herzer makes it one and one by the yeah, state championship. Now come to in June. On Spectrum O's. They're getting out of the way a little bit, Ina. Catcher kind of bringing it back towards the plate. Oh! Got him swinging. Here, through three. Congratulations, Maya, by the way, and uh, the rest of the uh, Pearl City Volleyball team. They won an OIA Boys Volleyball Division II championship just a few weeks ago. So here comes Kaisen Donahue to lead us off. The three, four, and five hitters. The Arizona Commit hitting 407. On the season, double-digit drawn walks, double-digit RBIs as well. He's easily the biggest shortstop in the state. So Tyson Donahue, who's standing at six feet three inches for this senior, struck out the last time. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Oh, my goodness. Now again, remember Packman behind the, the dish now, second catcher for Pearl City. And you know, he may have come up a little bit right there and blocked the view of the umpire. Because it looked like a pretty good pitch. That was a better one. Yeah. Two and two to count. Here towards Donahue. The winner gets Baldwin tomorrow at 4 o'clock on Spectrum OC 16. Time is called here by Donahue, the kid who grew three inches and 20 pounds from last season. That's amazing. In a season where he led the team in hits with 21 and RBIs with a dozen, and he has improved on those numbers this season. And Donahue goes right back to Hollywood, one away. A little arc in there. Oh, right, too. Have to prove ourselves. Pro City along that same vein feels like they have a lot to prove. Well, if they can hang some of the best in the state, right now they are with a 2-1 advantage here in the fourth. Nishi swings and misses. Strike out Halemanu. Uh, you can see Halemanu starting to get in a groove right now with the strikeouts. He averages more than a strikeout a ball game, and this time the old four-seamer right by you on the outside corner. He's gone now strikeout, basically averaging a strikeout an inning here in this one. Coming for Hirano, I should say. Top of the order. So here's Tom. Two away here. On the monitor trying to get out of this inning with just a one run damage. Fouled and right back in the plate. Away. Donahue, after all the great uh, numbers that he's put up this season. 0 for 2 today. In fact, the 3, 4, and 5 hitters have not produced a hit here today. Strike 2. 
good location that time for